Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So overnight we actually had some disappointing results from United Technologies, IBM and even to an extent Apple, uh, which didn't exceed all expectations last night and ended up down in the day. But it was the technology stocks um, that caused the biggest riot across the US. Dow down over 100 points, um, SPX 500 down and obviously NASDAQ down as well. So the US 30 unable to break above 18,112, uh, quite a negative candle yesterday, bouncing off 21 period SMA, drifting a little bit lower this morning. Um, we're only just getting stuck in turning season now, so maybe that stronger US dollar biting in, um, which a lot of companies have complained about. but. Uh, the US market's not taking it that, 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 that nice. So moving on to the UK 100, following on from the sell-off in, uh, in the US, you can see we had a, a bearish engulfing pattern um, overnight. We've got another down day again so far today, and we're eyeing up now 66.86 as the next potential support level. Moving on to Japan, Japan's an interesting one. So Bank of Japan uh, Governor Kuroda came out uh, with a statement yesterday saying that there was no intention of uh, any further monetary easing or QE um, in the country because they thought inflation was going to be picking up, labor market was good. Um, that's caused a bit of a turnaround on the dollar yen, to be honest. Um, which is uh, which has impacted Japan 25. So we weren't able to break through 20,868. Uh, we're still a good bit away from those moving averages as well, but um, it might be a bit more of a struggle to break through. Certainly 125 plus in dollar yen seems to be really unlikely at the moment. Bear in mind we're down at 123.61 right now. Um, so actually looking on to dollar yen, negative day yesterday, uh, bearish engulfing pattern, down again today. I get, it's almost like a mirror image to a certain extent of Japan 225, though it didn't quite reach the same heights in, uh, in June with Japan 225 that dolly ended. So that gives you a bit of an idea of where we are just now. So moving on again to West Texas crude, grinding lower towards 49.40 for all the reasons we've talked about before, supply glut, China slowdown, blah, blah, blah. Then moving on to gold, gold is resuming its, uh, its move to the downside. We're still a good bit away from the tip of this candle. Longer term potential support uh, remains at 1,046. Uh, US rates, even with the disappointing earnings results, people are still saying they think it's going to start in uh, September. Uh, it's mainly the macro data that will um, that will be the big driver of that rather than how the st stocks and shares are doing, but um, we'll see how that pans out. And then moving on to your dollar and GBP USD. So your dollar um, getting a big spike because the US dollar basically just rolled over uh, earlier. It was late in the afternoon session, UK session yesterday, and the dollar started to, to come off. Uh, treasury yields started to drop um, as people were getting out of equities, buying buying treasuries, and um, the, I think that's why some of the US dollar positions became a mind. Bear in mind that the US dollar had been gaining a lot of momentum for a number of sessions. Uh, a little bit of profit taking there has probably impacted those markets. So bullish engulfing pattern on, uh, on your dollar yesterday uh, and just slowly drifting up that little bit higher today. Now finishing up with GBP USD, um, bullish engulfing pattern uh, today, this morning. So cable didn't get a great start, the same as what uh, your dollar had yesterday. So that dollar weakness wasn't a really big positive for cable till much till today really, where we're showing a decent candle on the right side of one spot 56 as we currently speak. So, um, economic data wise, you do have Bank of England NPC minutes. This will be very uh, interesting for, for people who are wondering about UK rates. Um, will it be January, February 2016? Is that what um, will come out? There's usually a statement that comes out along with this as well. Existing home sales and weekly petroleum data at uh, 3.30. It's very data light this week actually. And then tomorrow we've got UK retail sales and US employment claims, followed by um, CCI for the Eurozone. And on Friday, uh, you've got a whole bunch of uh, market serve sort of PMI data for China, Germany, and the Eurozone. Uh, and that pretty much rounds up the end of that week. So as ever, guys, keep your eye on the chart for Make Insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.